hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome and if you're new and today we are building a nail with a form using young nails um synergy gel which is a hard gel i went ahead and i shaped my nail buffed the surface and now i'm coming in with my swipe which is a dehydrator as well as a cleanser and I go ahead and I do that to all my nails. So here are the gels that I'll be using. It will be a base, the clear sculptor, the um, concealer peach, and yeah, it's just those three. Base, clear, concealer. I don't know why I had four there. I guess I didn't know which one was which. So yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply Protein Bond to the surface of my nail. And I'm going to go ahead and I do two coats of this. You don't want to saturate it. You know, you just want to put enough to cover the nail. So this way we prevent any lifting. So if you don't put enough, you get lifting. If you put too much, you get lifting. So it's just like you got to know how much to put. And now I'm going to come and take my forms. So it has been a while since I've um, used forms to build out my nail. But honestly, it's like riding a bike. If you've done it before, you're always going to remember how to do it. So I don't want my nail to be too long. So I go ahead and, and I pinch and I try to get it as straight. And so this way we can get a nice build and it's gotten to the point that i think my fingers are just crooked because you're gonna see in a minute like i try to put it straight but it looked crooked like i don't know i think my fingers crooked y'all so i just let it be you can always you know shape it and try to make it as straight as possible but yeah go ahead and you put your form and try to be as straight as possible maybe i wasn't relaxing my finger because they do say to do that like when you're putting on a form it's good it's best that you relax your finger so this way you know the direction that your net that your finger naturally goes and i didn't do that so now i'm gonna come in with the clear sculptor and my brush it's called a sculpting gel brush and I believe this is a size six. Take a nice little dollop of that. We're gonna go ahead and build our free edge. And I'm not gonna do a lot of talking because I feel like watching, it does better explaining than me talking. Because I might say something and then you get confused and then I might, do, might be doing the opposite. So I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all watch this and I'll be back for the next step. quick um little reminder when you're building your nail you always want to get those side walls because if not that's when you build those little holes and that's where um your nails your extension might crack so you want to make sure you hit those side walls of your nails and really build and put product there so you can get a nice strong nail and once I'm finished building the nail, I'm just going to go ahead, put it in the light for a full 60 seconds. You could do 30, but I like to do 60 because I like to make sure that it's nicely cured. So once we cured, I'm going to come in with my base coat and I'm going to go ahead and apply it throughout my natural nail as well as the extension that I just built 
and this gives you like a sense of strength so when you do end up taking the forms because i don't know if this has ever happened to you but it has happened to me that when i take the form off it sticks to it so well that i sometimes end up cracking the nail so by applying your base after you build your extension it clear it builds that that harness so this way your your nail won't break and then i go ahead and i cure it for another full seconds not full for another full 60 seconds and now i'm coming in with my peach concealer it's a really nice nude there's a concealer peach and a concealer pink so i wanted to do the concealer peach because i'm feeling in the mood for nude nails and it's a really pretty color so i take a nice dollop of it and remember guys you can always add if you feel like you're missing product like at the end after i finished doing all my nails i went back to the index fingers and i noticed that i well at least to me i felt like it could use a little bit more just for on the apex just to build you really don't have to build too big of an apex because the nails are short um so it would have been fine with the with the amount i had but i felt like it just needed a little bit more so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch this um like always guys if you have any questions any concerns please drop me a comment um let me know what you guys are thinking of this set um fyi young nails is actually having a sale right now as we speak their entire store is a full 30 percent and no i do not get paid by young nails and no i do not get any type of promotion i just really like the product and it's very beginner friendly and it's a good quality product that you're gonna get for your money so if you guys are interested this um particular synergy gel i actually got it in a kit and it's their gel kick kick gel um kit normally it goes for 109 right now or 104 one of those two right now it's actually with the sale is 76 dollars and you get i think it's like five or six gels hard gels um you get the brush you get a swipe you get the brush the the cleansing brush you get the forms you get tips you get protein bond you get top coat cuticle oil like you really get set up if you're interesting they also have an acrylic kit and they also have their um fiber gel kit which is like their version of a gel x extension so that's going on right now and like always guys don't forget to like this video you know turn on those notifications so this way you won't miss out when i do post a video and subscribe to my channel and you know drop me a little comment say hey girl hey and let me know what you guys think any questions like always any concerns let me know so i went ahead and i cure that in the light for a full 60 seconds and now i'm going to come in repeat the process and i'm going to let you guys watch this and enjoy
I went ahead off camera and I ended up building the rest of my um, nails. It was super quick, super easy, super fun. Now I'm coming in with my swipe and removing that tacky layer off of each nail. Um, I'm gonna come in with my 150, 150 nail file and just like touch the shape, give it form. Oh no, no, I'm sorry, my Tammy peel, Tammy um, file. It's the peel off one you can find on Amazon, but if you have the 150, 150 grid, you can go ahead and use that. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and shape my nails. I am so sorry that I'm out of focus or out of the camera, but I'll be remembering, I'll be remembering. So I'm gonna go ahead and just retouch up the shape, get the nice shape that I want, you know, and go over the surface of the nail. I could have used um, my e-file, but I felt like the hand filing did such a great job that I didn't need to, but you most definitely can. Definitely come in with your e-file. You can come in with a um, coarse bit and really get into that cuticle area, but I did not overflow the cuticle area, so I was good. So I went ahead and I did all that throughout my nails. Now I'm coming in with my cleanser to cleanse the nail as well as dehydrate it because we are going to come in for some design. And it took me a while to figure out exactly what I wanted to do. Like I had no idea because I my first original idea was that I wanted to do some dimensional nails. That's why I had the fourth pot there and that was a builder clear or builder pink we'll get into that one um in another video so like always i'm going to come in with my protein do two coats of that to prevent any peeling from the polish and the design that i ended up doing um was i got from pinterest is like the evil eye and I wanted to go ahead and try it. It looked very simple. It was actually simple to do. It wasn't too bad. I gotta say that. So here are all the products that I am using. I am using my gel liners from Young Nails, the white, the black, this really nice nude color that I have in my collection that I got from Amazon. I'm gonna use some gold chrome powder. And the reason why I'm using these painter um, gels because they do not have a tacky layer so it's great for chroming so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and for the nude i'm just gonna go and do one nice coat of that just to like really enhance that nude on my nail and then i'm gonna go ahead and cure that for a full 60 seconds as always and I'm gonna let you guys watch this and then I'll jump back in when it's time for the design. I've noticed that when people do designs they say that it's best if you do it on a matte surface because of the reflection from the shiny um, polish really makes it hard to really able to see your dimensions not the dimensions to really able to see your line work and it is true because there's been a lot of times that I've done designs on a glossy surface and it's been hard but then again my eyes are no good so I don't know if it's you can literally go by me you can trust this theory but i went ahead and i matted all the nails because i'm going to be doing a design on all the nails and i'm using um bomb nails her matte top coat which i am loving so 
so I'm like, yeah. So I go ahead and I apply a nice coat of that. Not too thick, not too thin. Because you just want it to be matte so this way um, you're able to work on your nail. So the first um, nail we're going to do is going to be the pinky. I am going to try and do a Frenchie, which I think it came out pretty good. You guys will be the judge of that and let me know in the comments. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I will be back. So with each um, part of the design, I go ahead and I cure in the light for a full 30 seconds. So now we're coming into the fun part, which is the evil eye. And I gotta say, I want to give myself some props here because it came out gorgeous. I did end up having to switch the liner brush and I had to use the micro brush because i needed the lines to be really thin not too thick because i was using a different liner so 
so i went ahead and i just you know didn't think about it just went for it just an fyi this is not what this wasn't like my first attempt I, it was like my third which compared to other time guys it's actually pretty good because normally it takes me like 10 tries and then i gotta walk away and take a minute to like bring myself because it ain't coming out the way that i want it to come out like the last video i was doing with the stamps i just it, it was like if you would have seen the amount of edits that i had to like stop and figure it out it was like 10 10 of them and i didn't understand why it wasn't working but enough of that with this it only took three tries and that's because i realized that the brush was a little too thick so i needed uh, some finer lines so here i'm showing off because my eye looked nice so i went ahead and i cured it because if you ain't trusting yourself the best thing you can do is just cure it now if you a pro and you can do this all straight through it without needing to cure in between yo more props to you not your girl though not your girl because chances are i would end up messing it up so with that i'm gonna go ahead and let y'all watch this because it's so satisfying on how amazing to me of course this little evil eye came out that i was just so proud of myself guys so i'm gonna just go ahead and let you watch this and and i'll be back I just realized another reason why you want to chrome your nails when you do i'm sorry why you want to matte your nails 
because you're going to be chroming it so you don't want a a shiny top coat because if not it's just going to stick on all the nails so that's another reason why i matted it so here i'm coming in and i'm doing a little swirl and then just coloring it in and let me tell you something guys for the next part you guys are going to see me do little stars and just an fyi i've have always struggled with doing these little stars they look so simple but they're so hard i could never get it but that day was the day for me and i realized what it was i needed a really super fine liner like you guys are gonna see like this whole set in general was just like working for me i feel like the moons the stars they were all aligned like girl today's the day you're gonna execute this design and it's gonna come out looking amazing you're not gonna want to have to slam your head on the table and rethink of your design or improvise because you just can't and you're getting frustrated but overall i loved it i hope you guys love it super fun and super easy to do so i'm gonna let y'all watch this and i'll be back yes i could have came in with my little dotting tool but to be honest i didn't know what i did with it so i ended up using the brush and just using putting up a little dollop and making a little dot there so i know i could have definitely used the dotting tool would have made my life a whole lot easier but i couldn't remember where i placed it but i did find them so don't worry we good we good we good my chrome powder and this is in the gold i got this in one of my daily charm charm bags or charm box one of those two i got it i had it a while back so i'm coming in i'm trying not to be as messy and just really putting it on the black but you know you want to make sure you get every surface and you want to make sure you get a nice coat of that um chrome powder so you want to mat your nails whenever you are going to use chrome because if you have a shiny surface the chrome powder will stick to that shiny surface so we mat for chroming so this way it would be nice and easy and it would only stick on the areas that you want them to stick based on your shiny coat i don't know if that was clear you guys let me know i'm gonna go ahead and let y'all watch this because i'm gonna do it on all the black i could have de definitely left it with like the black and just do the evil eye in the gold but i don't know i i want i felt like the gold would just look bomb and it would just make the um the nails and design stand out so let you guys watch this and you guys let me know
after I dust off all the chrome powder, I'm coming in with my stain resistant top coat and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit all the nails. Well, not all of them because we still have to draw, finish the evil eye. We gotta draw the pupil and stuff. But the rest of the nails, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit it with the um, stain resistant top coat. And I go ahead and I do two layers because of the design, you might feel like there's like little bumps or you might feel like rays from the, the little dots and all that. So by doing two coats, it kind of levels the nail out. And this way, when you um, pass your finger through the surface of your nail, it's going to be nice and smooth. You're not going to feel anything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that throughout all the nails and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to cure it. I'm sorry. I'm going to cure it in the light for a full um, 60 seconds and then I'm going to come in and we are going to do the pupil. And here we are. We're going to start off. Let's see. I told you I found my dotting tools. I told y'all because for this part, I'm like, I was definitely going to need it. So I'm going to come in, put a little dollop of the white. Don't think about it guys just dollop and cure because i didn't show it but i did think about it and i ended up kind of making it a little big mess and remember guys the chrome is does not have a top coat so i go if i go ahead and i wipe it off the whole chrome powder is going to come off so we got to start back at zero and then i'm coming in with this beautiful light blue i mixed um some uh painter gel from your nails called Colette. Col 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 Don't worry, it's gonna be in the description box, but I think that's the name with a little bit of white and it gave me that nice blue. And then Cure and then come in with the black. So as you guys know, the stain resistant does leave a tacky top, a tacky layer. So you gotta come in with your swipe and clean that all off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna come in with the final reveal once I put on my cuticle oil. And you guys are gonna let me know. So what you guys think? Isn't it pretty? Isn't it nice? Like it's been a while since I like built my nail out and then I went ahead and I did the design and I executed. Like I was so proud of myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next one, guys. Bye.